All right, what is good, you guys? It is your boy Bolo back at it again, and today I'm going to show you guys my commercial spot. I don't really have that much stuff in here, but I have enough to get the job done. And I know a lot of times I'm at my home studio and I got a lot more stuff over there, but I do majority of the work over here, especially when I have artists in town. So let me show you guys around real quick and I'm going to show you what I got in here. And oh yeah, for you guys who may be tempted to try to run up in here, like I said before, I definitely have something that will help you meet your maker if you do try. Bolo! All right, first things first, we are in the smaller room, which is the B room. We actually built this during the pandemic. Me and all my homeboys and my buddies, we all put this together. We didn't hire any contractors or anything. We did everything ourselves during the pandemic to, you know, kind of kill some time since things were kind of slowed up. But uh, we actually did a pretty decent job and basically it's used just for like pre-production and for guys to come in and make beats and stuff like that. So let me show you around. All right. As soon as you walk in, you see a nice little couch. I got some panels and stuff on the walls. Got my little clock to know what time it is. Got a uh, little monitor station right there. And got the uh, Scarlet 1820 rack in there. Got a nice little power, power conditioner in there. And you know what I'm saying? Got the Mac. Got some Yamaha 8s. Got the TV for the security system so you can see all the cameras and everything. And we got cable and stuff in here. And, you know, I got a little stuff on the walls. I've been working on the walls. I'm going to put some new panels up there so I can fix the walls. And still got to add the uh, AC stuff in there. But, you know, taking it slow, man. Taking it real slow. And actually inside through that wall, it's a full booth. So you can actually record in here, too, and actually get some pretty good ideas in here. Uh, before we take it over to the A room. So let me show you the little booth over here. Okay, so inside the booth, it's a pretty nice size booth. Got some... Uh, panels hanging on the wall and got a nice rolled nt1a mic in here um that's the mic i have in here right now most of the times i have the uh c414 in here but i got the rolled nt1a very good mic for the price very 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 good mic for the price so if you are on a budget and you want a really good mic get the rolled nt1a comes with a whole kit super dope all right as you can see that's pretty much it in this room got a nice little guitar center desk as well and uh you know that's pretty much it so we do a lot of pre-production back here and uh we actually get some pretty decent recordings back here as well because as you guys know you know it's, it's digital stuff so you can kind of do what you want to do let's go ahead and go to the a room right now all right before we go into the a room got a nice little you know lounging area right here you can come in here and just lounge watch some tv or if you want to just watch the cameras outside or whatever you can do that as well but um just a nice little lounge area just in case we have a session you just want to get out for a second you know come back in lounge you know do your thing all right and some of you guys have already seen this but this is the a room yeah it's actually kind of dope got a uh, brother andrew masters up there right now really good guy man he's doing this thing with the studio reviews and everything big fan but yeah as you guys can see i got more panels up here i just added some more panels and stuff and i got some treatment on the walls and everything and those walls are actually curved um the guy that uh built this actually came up with a dope idea instead of making it like a triangle he actually curved the wall so it really helps out the sound and of course i got me a cloud over that and i got some lights uh behind the cloud that i built and uh of course all the panels are built myself got a nice heavy duty all wood door this thing right here is very heavy keeps a lot of sound out okay what do i got next got a nice little ikea rug down here um it helps with the sound and of course it helps with you know just protecting the wood floor and everything that we got down there um got a little desk right here for writers or if you want to put your laptop or whatever on that got the uh very beat up chair <laughs> Might need to replace that real soon. But uh, yeah, let's talk about the desk. This is the ultimate support desk. I actually got this on sale a few years ago. I got it for like 600 bucks. Um, and this thing has been a very, very, very good desk. It actually comes with a bottom piece, but the bottom piece is like 300. But I just went to uh, Amazon and just bought a black desk and just comes out like that. And it kind of matches it pretty cool. So yeah, why pay that much money when I could just get a, $60 desk from Amazon. So that worked out. Of course, the speakers, I got the uh, Seismic Audios. These right here are dope loudspeakers. Really sounds like a club in here. Is a three-way system. It comes with the two satellites over there and it comes with a 12-inch bass down there. Yes. 
seismic audio and these things sound great that sub is incredible if you want your studio to rock these are the ones all right what do i got up here i got the good old faithful jbls <laughs> the eights love these things man love these things these things are actually patterned at the kenny mixes master room over at patchwork studio that's why the cones have that shape they actually took all the measurements and stuff off his wall and uh they actually built these speakers from that master room so these are very good speakers for the price very good speakers of course we got the 21 inch mac does all the stuff in here the 21 inch iMac love it yes good old faithful presonic central station if you are on a budget this thing is perfect this presonic central station does everything you need to do it is not the cleanest but it does the trick yes it is very dope has a lot of inputs and stuff on there it's dope actually the smaller one that i have in the b room is actually cleaner a lot of people have noticed that but this thing is dope and it's a rack mounted unit so you can't beat it what else do i got i got the uh power strip right here i got the samsung power strip that powers up everything got the universal audio side right now i have the la610 mk2 as my um, preamp and the compression going in sounds really good. I've always loved this unit and I might get another one because I just love how it sounds. And man, it's just, it's just a very good unit. And next, I have the Apollo 8. This is the workhorse of the whole system. This thing is super dope. And man, I really love how this thing sounds. Love how it sounds. All right, going into the booth. Going into the booth. As you guys see, I have a headphone monitor thing here from Presonus as well. It does a trick. Presonus does a trick. And I have the MX30s from Audio Technica right here. These things are excellent. I love these. I have a whole bunch of these because you know what happens with these in the studio. Of course, disinfectant spray. Got to have this. Um, got a little stand for Walmart to hold all that. And then I have the ultimate stand right here that is supporting this TM-103 mic. Love this mic. You know I have the uh, U87 at my crib. I love this mic because it has the same capsule as the U87. Sounds very close to 87. Very clean mic. Very good all-around mic. And pretty much that is my whole setup. And yeah. As you guys can see, got all the panels and stuff on the wall just for the acoustics. Got a nice little couch in here, a little heater for people who like to, you know, pump up the heat. And uh, got a little curtain, you know, if you want to be in here by yourself and you don't want nobody looking at you, got a little curtain in here because this door does um, <laughs> give off a few little reflexes or whatever like that. But at the end of the day, it sounds really good in here. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I need down here. And we do a lot of projects when people come into town. We do majority of the projects here because the sound is good. And I try to tell everybody all the time, it's not about what you have, it's how you use it. All you need is just a good mic chain and just knowing how to use what you got. You can have a good sound. And I got a great sound over here. So, Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.